Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the Dead Moon? At the recent Summer Games Fest, we got some first looks at a bunch of upcoming games, including The Callisto Protocol, a survival horror shooter set in the prison colony on Jupiter. Callisto Protocol is the brainchild of director Glenn Schofield, who was formerly executive producer on 2008's beloved sci-fi horror action game, Dead Space. In a recent interview speaking about Callisto, Schofield had this to say. I can't see people going, oh, that's Dead Space 4. Respectfully, Glenn, from what we've seen, this is pretty much Dead Space 4. You start out defenseless, confused, and trapped with mutated humans that have huge mouths and far too many limbs. Past horrors are relived via grainy hologram logs. Both have the awfully convenient back health bar, but Callisto Protocol makes it horizontal, so it's different, kinda. And the death cut scenes are brutally gory. I'm sorry, but these are all the characteristics of a Dead Space entry. But Callisto isn't the only Dead Space like we're expecting to see in the next calendar year. There's also Aliens Dark Descent, Fort Solace. In the first person realm, we're getting Scorn, Routine, and a new System Shock remake. On top of all that noise, here's where we mention that OG Dead Space is getting its own next-gen remake. Now, I love Dead Space as much as the next Isaac Clarke, but this is getting absurd. Don't get me wrong, space horror slaps. The return of big budget sci-fi action horror is very welcome. But it's strange how all these titles happen to be coming out within a year of each other after such a sizable time gap, with arguably 2017's Prey being the genre's last standard bearer. Were all these developers in the same secret Discord chat? Or is this upcoming glut of space horror a mere coincidence? What do you all think? Let us know in the comments below. For more gaming coverage, check out Kotaku.com.